production. podcast planning on setting our mascot on fire it's the <laughs> rt podcast <laughs> I, oh, the rumor mill doth turn. <laughs> I am your treacherous leader of evil plans, Armando Torres. And joining me, as always, is... The Minister of Machinations, Andrew Rosas, with ringing hands. <laughs> and, of course... I've decided ah! to become a white woman to save the podcast. <laughs> Clearly, this is what we've been missing the whole time. It is true. It I... is tr- for audio listeners... Eh? Um... <laughs> what? Huh? For audio listeners, um, Kayla's in whiteface. Um, it's uh, very disturbing. No, it's a, it's a mask. It's a mask. It's a mask. It's, you're in white mask. Is that better or worse? Somebody stop I you. I don't know. What is the mask of? I don't know. Does anyone I found know? I it in the hallway. So, and it just said sample. Oh, I, I don't like that at all. Don't be picking up random masks. That's how you start. That's how you become the king of the rumba beat. Yeah, that's how you get face lice. That's how you become Cuban beat. I don't know if this is like weirdly racist towards Asian people. Yeah, or, the mask is more of a color I wish it wasn't. Uh huh. And also, pink. Pink. Oh. I think okay, I think it's a drag it's queen. A drag I think queen. it's a drag queen. That's what I was going to say. It's either racist towards Asian people or, or proud queen. of drag or people. Or racist towards drag queens. Really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, I thought they loved racing. Those drag oh queens. Oh, my God. No, we're they, back, baby. We're so back. They're we're so back. Like oh, my fracking. producer's telling me we're gone. We're gone yeah. in two weeks. Okay, great. But our cameraman with an earring loved it. <laughs> 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 mm. yeah. Yes, sir. So in case you're wondering uh, oh. what we were talking about, what's up? Memoirs of Aslicia. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. That stopped my heart for a second. All right. Uh, well, that's the podcast. We're not yeah, going to top that. That's it. Good night, everybody. <laughs> now, in case you're wondering what that uh, the beginning of the um, the podcast was, we are currently uh, in the writing phase and pre-production <laughs> phase of one last cool project that the three of us are working on. Um, at Rooster Teeth. At Rooster, at Rooster Teeth. Teeth. Be yes. very specific about no, that. No, the last project I'm working on. Okay, yeah. cool. After this Ever. one... Dead. After this, starting a car in a closed garage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I'm I'm preferential to uh, uh, to Griff's plan of maxing out my credit cards in Italy mm-hmm. and pill sandwiching pill sandwich. uh, in Milan mm, on, a, nice. on on like a uh, on a uh, balcony mm-hmm. in a linen yeah. shirt. Ooh. Oof. There's no better way to die than no. in a linen shirt. Tr- truly. Um, <laughs> In case you're wondering what we were talking about at the beginning, we're working on our last project here at Rooster Tea. Yeah. And uh, we've been pretty secretive over what it is, other than the fact that one of the major plot points is uh, our beloved mascot, Artie. Universally loved and renowned and favored by everyone. Yeah. Giant puppet Muppet baby <laughs> already dies in the project that we're working on. Yeah. And that is what we told a couple of people yep. and sent out there into the company so that we could get people on board for the production side of things. Yeah. Uh, well, and it's then camera action. <laughs> and then some rumors got started based off little, of that. A little bit of telephone. A little game of like purple monkey dishwasher telephone ass. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it, it, it evolved from already dies, which you don't even see in production. It no. has already occurred. Yeah. It has already occurred. Already <laughs> occurred. And, and that turned into us getting an email from the head of marketing going, the sketch cannot move forward. Yeah. Uh, because he had heard that we were planning on burning, burning Artie. <laughs> like lighting the f- costume that we have on fire, actually. Yeah. yeah. Like burning an effigy. Yeah. Like, which. Like, we never said we were going to do. We never said we were going to do. And we here, would never do. Here's the reason I can't get that mad at this happening is it does sound like something we would It do. does sound like something we have pitched. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, again, it's like, I, 
I can't be I can't be a hundred percent mad because that that is on brand yeah, for yeah. our it, antics. It, if someone told me that we told them that we were gonna do that, I would believe them. Right. And that's on us being three little boys who cry wolf. Yeah. Now Truly. we we did we do plan on setting Gavin on fire though. Oh, a hundred. I got approved yeah. though because he said as long as we film it in slow motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as we use that camera. <laughs> <it's>, uh, <laughs> Watch this man burn at <laughs> 7,000 frames a second. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and when you're on fire, it feels like that. <laughs> Every second does feel like, like an frame. eternity. Yeah, except for that 30-second ad break that happens in the middle of my death. <laughs> um, Shady so- Rays! <laughs> They don't want to know that they, they fu- fucked up because you burned yourself <laughs> alive. If your sunglasses melt to your face while you're engulfed in flames, and you survive, they'll replace, they'll replace them. them. They no don't give a shit. Ass. They don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna miss doing shady resets. <laughs> just, just in the hospital, covered in ba- mummified in bandages with shady rays. <laughs> Over beep beep. You just. One Beep. thumb up through the cast. No, 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 no. Beep. And then they flip the shades part down. <laughs> it's like a soldier dying. Yeah. Instead of closing the eyes, it's putting the, the shades, shades down. down. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. They're not even sponsoring no, this episode. We just I think. like them. We just love them. We just love Shady oh. Rays. Oh my God! You were telling me, Griff, mm. about uh, something that happened to you this morning. I don't know if you wanted to share it with all the people. What was it? Uh, you just made a certain discovery. Oh yeah! Did you guys know that we can't look at porn anymore in Texas? Has anyone tried to jerk off in the past two weeks? No. Well, here's the thing. Because I tried. Everyone else here <laughs> is just informed on the news and knew this was happening and has happened for some time. The rest of us have used social media to know that this was a thing I'm happening. Not on, I'm not on Twitter. It makes me too sad. I know. And that's why you came in this morning grumpy. And I went, <laughs> what's wrong? And you went, did you know they blocked all the porn sites? Which tells me a lot about your morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I had to have sex with my stupid girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Griff, um, huh? ball's looking a little blue there. What's uh, what's happening? Did you guys hear yeah. about the porn sites? You guys, yeah. Uh, Why did they do that? They did that so that they could um, like wait, verify wait, age, right? Yeah. Wait, to wage some bullshit culture war. No yeah. one's interested. Like eight percent of the population is interested, and the yeah. rest going to be like the rest are going to have a rude awakening. Yeah. When they log on to. Enter site here and uh, and its affiliates. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I found out it's mostly the affiliates. There is a lot of those. Um, yeah, I found that if you good to if you go to a good Christian, uh, they're definitely already married, having uh, consensual, relationship, so, consensual consensual relationship so, for, within the, for within, procreation within the bonds of marriage for procreation. Actually, they they cared about the procreation and the married part, but weirdly, they didn't care about the consensual part at all. <laughs> that oh, group. that's that that yeah. And that tracks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, but if you go there, that still works. Yeah, it's a lot okay. of hand holding, which <laughs> is my king. <laughs> but um, yeah. I like a different kind of hand job. It's <laughs> holding. That's the job. It's it's uh it's it's weird that you can just do that apparently. Yeah. Yeah, and not have anyone vote on it. You can just say, mm. I don't think anyone should jerk off anymore, and then the Supreme Court says, Yeah, okay. Well, I I. I hate the idea that this is what they th- that they think people are going to stop jerking it mm-hmm. because I don't know if any of you have been middle school aged boys before, mm-hmm. but I'll jerk off to a pair of titties that I drew myself. <laughs> I have the ability. Do you still to have that ability my- though? Yes. At, well, no. It's yeah. been yeah. When it's was- been jaded by mm-hmm. years of pornography. Yeah. yeah. But I could get back to it. Okay. Yeah. You can work it, back up to it. It's like resistance training. I mean, when I was 14, <laughs> I couldn't walk through the produce section <laughs> yeah. without getting sprung. Yeah. You just like, uh, cantaloupes. A God, fir- fuck. Fir- oh, cabbage. Melons. Fr- oh. Oh. God. Banana? Oh. Yeah. No. Basically two round things kind of near <laughs> each other when you're 14. is just, It's over. It's so over. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had no idea. Apparently it's been like two weeks now. Yeah. So I'll let you know what I do with my time. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> you haven't been jerking it in two weeks? I found out immediately. <laughs> I found out that it had passed, and then I went to make sure, and then I got horny looking at the Pornhub logo. logo. Looking at the thing that said you can't access this website, and you, you were just like, access. And I was like, mm. <laughs> I was like, mm, tell me what else I can't do. <laughs> uh. My stepmom called me from stuck in a dryer, and I knew. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Damn. Yeah, so apparently everyone's just like using VPNs or whatever. Yeah. Do you think this is going to lead to a lot of people well, voting first for of the all, first time? Yeah, coding for the first time and using VPNs. Oh, I said voting. Oh, voting. <laughs> Sure. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna learn coding, it's like, <laughs> man. Those just, head crews can still lose. I, I here's the thing: it's like I think that a, a few people are gonna get tech savvy and learn how to use VPNs. I think a lot of people are gonna be mad when they go to the ballot box. But how many people do you think are gonna just start getting into really weird specific hobbies? Here's the thing: none, uh, yeah. because the people who are gonna be, okay. Here's the thing: I feel like the people that they want affected by it know how to use a VPN. Yeah, and the people who vote for them are less likely to know how to use a VPN. Yeah, and I feel like it's going to cause frustrations amongst that, and then they're going to have to just get rid of it and back it back or something. Mm. I don't even get the point of trying to get rid of it. I guess it's the belief that it's immoral to watch pornography. No, they're saying like if a kid wants to buy a porno DVD, they have to be eighteen and show an ID. So how is that different from us collecting a picture of your ID, your IP address, and then all of the stuff you jerk off to and having that all compiled together in a thing that definitely can be hacked and also used as blackmail maybe? Mm -hmm. Huh. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's one thing if I go and buy, buy a fucking, if I go to the adult megaplex on 35 and buy a porno right. tape mm -hmm. and show some dude vaping in the fucking store my ID, but having to <laughs> upload a picture of it to a database <laughs> that is now just belongs to the Republican Party of Texas. So, so you can buy a magazine from a ponytail Only a sticking magazine. out of a vape cloud. <laughs> no, it's just That's a yeah. magazine. Yeah. <laughs> I love this idea that you guys are putting forth that buying pornography in Texas yeah. is like buying a gun in the rest of America. Yeah, you have to show ID. They yeah. do a background check, yeah. and if it's not the way that they want it to be, you don't get to do it. In got, Texas, <laughs> all you have to be able to do is fog a mirror. Yeah. That's all yeah. you have to be able it's to do to get, get a gun. It's easier to get seven guns than seven dildos. One of those is illegal in Texas, and the well, other got, one isn't. I got a lot of magazines, not the ones you'd hope. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Buns and ammo. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I, look at, check this out. I just got open carry pornography. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a fucking dick Holster. on my hip. That's <laughs> called the big iron on my hip. Yeah. Dude, mm. it's, it's one of those things where it's like one of those things, I guess we could talk politics since the last three episodes. Well, I don't sure, get though, because I'm just like, jerking off is the only thing keeping Gen Z from mobilizing. <laughs> <laughs> hold on hold on hold on, hold yeah. on. yeah hold there, on i need there were okay so one of the things that the that the republican party is worried about right now uh -huh. is that gen z skews more liberal just they just do yeah so they're trying to get rid of tiktok because it's showing them too much genocide in real time mm -hmm. and they're banning the pornography because it's making the kids gay uh it's not about the porn it's about the, well, the way it's worded is access to any adult material so that's adult material as defined by whoever's in charge so that could be like i don't know porn or like anything about lgbtq history uh -huh. or being trans and getting hormones or anything else that uh sure. that dude in the wheelchair thinks is yucky so <laughs> it's all being regulated and that's fdr the, yeah, FDR. yeah that's like, what the what's base of it is hawking? what the fuck but i'm like well now you've just taken away the two things that's keeping them distracted from what's going on so now they're just gonna go vote more because yeah. they think it works yeah well i've also learned you've activated a base and yeah. a shaft and a tip <laughs> But Folks. once you, once you get rid of pornography, the balls become active, <laughs> and that's when you have problems. Yeah, but like I don't get that. I don't get the IVF ban. It the IVF it, ban? Yeah, the, yeah. They want people like ha okay, in like, vitro in, fertilization. Yeah, in Alabama, it's like illegal now or some shit. What? And that again, yeah. again, it makes sense because it's like I guess they don't want gay people making babies on their own. Mm -hmm. But also, like you also, it's it's they don't want IVF. They don't mm -hmm. want birth control. They don't want abortion. They don't want free child Wait, care. Hold on. So what are we supposed to do? I'm sorry. The people who believe mm -hmm. that their savior was a baby born without having sex, sex. want to ban, ban IVF. IVF. Yes. That's. I mean, if you hold before, on, I gotta call John before, Oliver. I've got a hell of a joke <laughs> yeah, for yeah. you. And before that, they were like, also, just so you know, an embryo made with IVF is a living child. <sighs> like. I mean, I wish I could buy stock in cognitive dissonance because oh, you'd it, be a billionaire. I'd be a billionaire. I'd yeah. have enough money to uh, run for public office it, or support uh, to completely. Nothing uh, makes sense. And all of this coming from the party of small government. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the party coming from government not being able to tell us what to do. Yeah, I hate talking politics because I don't know <laughs> enough about it mm -hmm. to to 
to be smart. But I dumb it down. Yeah, and you make it very fun, um, <laughs> and then also very scary mm -hmm. because I'm well, learning. Well, it is scary. Yeah, it's terrifying well, that I can't like, jerk this is, it. This year sucks. Yeah, it fucking sucks, and I can't even get the sucks that I like to get. No, <laughs> on Texas. That su that fucking blows, and not and even that, the type of blows. <laughs> yeah, we can only get the blows we don't like in Texas. Uh, I have to give credit to uh, to producer Tyler for giving me this joke, but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking I'm holding up in my apartment with all the pornography I can have and I'm calling it Alamo 2.0 <laughs> and I'm waving a flag with a dildo as the pole and it says come and take it and come is spelled with the U. U. Yeah. <laughs> guys it's right oh perfect perfect yeah I love it although well, maybe this is the chance for some little 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 porn.com upstart to really just well, stick it to Texas. there's a few of them that are still active yeah they are they we're not gonna say them because I'm they're listening yeah <laughs> Cause they're cause fucking Greg Abbott right yeah. now is yeah. taking notes. As he's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Greg yeah. Abbott has he's a, got a scraper he's, going. He's got an ear with, with an ear to a cup against a wall. I uh -huh. kind of uh -huh. want to just like start typing in websites that have X's in them just to see like what accidentally has been locked. Do you think there's ever been a website that starts with an X that isn't a porn website? Like uh, if your name, like if you're. Where do you think I bought my last xylophone, guys? <laughs> If you go to xylophone.com right now, I bet you it's see porn. a butt. I, I bet, bet it's an ass. Butt. Yeah. <laughs> xylophone.com. Oh, right. Uh, That's, have you been ha to There's Twitter? so much porn on Twitter. What are you talking it's about? It's mostly pornography. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, well, what's funny is Pussy the, the desktop version of x.com does not work. You can't. What? I, you cannot go. Type x.com into your search in like into and it in, doesn't do anything. You cannot log in there. It's completely fucking is, broken. Does, does he even actually no. have it? Xylophone.com is for sale. What? We could get it. How much? Buy it now. Buy it now. Sixty nine. Fuck. Thousand. Nice. Thousand. No, oh. but probably. Can we expense it? How many more things can we expense? Like three. Yeah, Oof. it's it's mm. still it still goes to twitter.com yeah oh well, it's that's just a boring. redirect site yeah immediately <laughs> boom immediately that's funny any website with an that starts with an x in the domain that is listed to a current domain because the thing is if you go to xylophone.com it says this domain might be for sale and then a youtube video about coca-cola so like any website with an actual tied website I believe is pornography and if you think i'm wrong comment in the comment down below with yeah, your proof with your proof <laughs> stop if and you staying dare. on me when i'm perfect <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut around there's no rules anymore yeah no no Sorry, no, no, God, all no gods no masters we're just we're off the leash producer tyler by the way brought up a great point right now which is that because we only have a few more weeks of this podcast left mm. Mm technically we have a budget of i think it's like a hundred dollars a week um that we used to by the way when we first took the show over that we used to blow way the fuck over yeah. remember that when well, we were renting guns every week and like fucking yeah, can we get a gun can we get a gun like a real can one we this buy time? a gun this time you can get like you can get like a, a browning shotgun for like 120 yeah yeah well what can i get a white one <laughs> What I'm saying here is that we've got a hundred dollars an episode like that we haven't spent. Bucks. Yeah, in the last several weeks. Why? What? We why? could do a pizza party, or we could buy a gun. No, I don't want to do something that's good for everyone. No, else. that's what I'm saying. I want to buy a gun. Well, okay. Aside from a gun, what is the wildest thing that we could buy an expense to the company? Because there's like xylophone.com. No, <laughs> um, that's pretty good. Uh, what could we do with a hundred a hundred bucks? Only have a hundred bucks. Well, it's a hundred bucks. It's a hundred bucks a week, but we haven't used a hundred. It's three hundred. No, I'm saying we, we can use three hundred. Yeah. Well. Well, how much is there? How much is there? Because we haven't spent any, any money. of it, and we took like two weeks off. And we took like two weeks off. Oh my god, I don't know what the craziest thing is that we could buy. Um, I feel like. We never got those suits. We want to get those Charo suits. We should, we should get, get the, the Charo char suits. But three hundred dollars buys one. We can all share it. Get your size. Yeah. yeah. And then we can just wear it. Yeah. It'll be huge on me and really huge on you. <laughs> yeah. But and then a little small on me. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> let's be let's face it. A little small. A little small, small on me. How much do you think a Quiznos franchise is? Probably like five hundred bucks, right? When is the last time you saw a physical Quiznos? They're out of Texas. They're can gone. We buy you can't get one tickets? Around here. No, BFT, BFT did already that. did that. So? 
<laughs> oh, not for content. <laughs> Just my one of my favorite retorts. Who cares? Like, yes, they already did it. So, <laughs> uh, I'm not in it. <laughs> we also, I, I, okay, here's the thing. I'm not mad about it because it sounds like, when I say this, it sounds like I'm mad about it. Do you remember when we did that yeah. beforehand? Yeah, we before did. Before BFT, I think even worked we here. We did, we did it for cold open. And we won $5? Five dollars. Yeah. Five that's right. God, we, we should have bought open. way more fucking tickets. I, I, think, I think we use that 300 and we don't buy scratchers. We buy fucking actual, like, Oh, ones that you can win actual money. How there. much is a plane ticket to Vegas? <laughs> okay. Oh, how about I can tell you it's $164. I bought one this morning. There we go. There okay, is. so we buy three one-way <laughs> tickets <laughs> to, to Vegas. And to we have to win our, our way back. back. Yeah. Didn't we pitch we that? Did pitch we did that. pitch that. That was the poker game. Wait, yeah. Tyler, can we, can we go to Vegas? We can't technically leave the studio. Yeah, we're not allowed. We have stuff brought here. <clears throat> we could have stuff brought here. Anyway, we'll figure out what to do with this money when we have it. And uh, speaking of speaking of you and your shit okay. and stuff you were up to, you went to PAX. I did. I went to PAX East this weekend. How was it? It was lit. I'm ne actually. I've ne Okay, first of all, I landed, and it was 19 degrees. Mm -hmm. um, Fahrenheit. Then, yeah. And then the next day it was 30. Felt like 19. And then the next day it was 30 and raining. And then the day after that it was 30. Felt like 19. And then when I left, it was a warm and balmy 42 degrees. Ooh. Mm, no one should live in Boston. It was horrifying. I hit you up and told you that I was jealous because I love, personally, I love the cold. Actually, I do too. Yeah. The I cold really is do. my favorite place to be. I mean, it was it's it was nice enough uh, when prepared. I think if I had gloves, I would have had a better time. Oh, gloves are necessary. That's something I learned when I went to Minnesota is because I thought that, like, okay. But I also, like, slipped in frozen piss. So, like. Well, that's just part of it yeah that's, that's, like that. that's when you got off the plane yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's their welcome wagon yeah. yeah that's what they have instead of frozen lemonade <laughs> uh yeah you gotta learn you first of all you gotta wear better shoes or you gotta wear worse shoes like me cortez shoes which have absolutely no grip on them which might as well so be that way you two just, bars of soap on your yeah. feet yeah fucking crip walk uh, you, uh, on the you think, wouldn't be, you think it wouldn't be because like you feel like if you're wearing cortez you do a lot of running away from the police yeah yeah but they have absolutely no grip. Mm -hmm. But that, that makes them really good for sliding up and you down can, fences. You get away like Sonic at the beginning of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle City Escape. Yeah, well, yeah, because when I put on my Cortez shoes, my legs can go full <laughs> circle. Yeah. And, uh, and all of a sudden bongos come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it was lit. I saw a bunch of indie devs. Saw a lot of cool games are coming out this year. Oh. I think I might get, in, get into streaming. Yeah? Yeah. Because we don't have jobs anymore. So I was like, what do unemployed people do? Stream. Well, we still have some jobs. Mm. I saw Blizz is streaming right now. Yeah. And for reference, it's uh, like 11 a.m. on a Tuesday. Yeah. Isn't that weird? Uh, well, he'd usually be doing that for inside gaming. <laughs> yeah. But fair enough. They don't do that anymore. Fair enough. I, so guess they, uh, <laughs> I guess they just don't care as much as we do. Yeah. No. We're the only ones who want to work anymore. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I saw Gen Z millennial. Is he Gen Z? He's or? Gen Z. Ugh. He's like the oldest. He's like a geriatric Gen Z. Yeah. yeah. Oh, don't, that's, don't say that. That's what I am too, yeah, I think. Yeah, you're both geriatric Gen Zs. Uh, I'm a geriatric millennial. Yeah. You're just old, you fucking Gen X piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not Gen X. Yeah, whatever. You feel like it. No, I don't have, I don't have mm. the, I would say that uh, this, the thing that separates me from Gen X is that I don't have the, like, aloof, upward uh, mobility, the aloof, the one, the upward mobility. I don't, the thing that separates me from Gen X is that most Gen X people have a house. I do not. Okay. But that's they, fair. But, but they but, act like they came up through the hardest shit of all time. But you're also an artist. This is true. And yeah. if you were a real Gen X, you would have sold out by now. He's a millennial. We've That's figured right. It out. That's right. right. If I exactly, if I was Gen X, I would have sold out already. I don't know. My parents are, I think, Gen X, and uh, I think they are, yeah. and uh, they don't. Even neither of them own a house. Well, well, they're baby Gen X. Also, you're like four years younger than my dad. That's fucked up. Maybe younger? three. Wait, younger? Yeah, he's three years younger than my dad. Isn't that fucked up? Younger? Your Younger. dad fucked up. What do you mean he fucked <laughs> up? <laughs> Your dad blew it. What do you mean you're not supposed to have a child at 15? 15. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah, that's right. There's yeah, just something about... There's something... Obviously, teen, teen pregnancy is so bad because you get Amanda. What? But, ah! No. <laughs> I said... Here's the thing. Rack them. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Here's my no, argument. It's, here's the thing. Teen pregnancy as a concept is bad, but also very funny. Because here's the thing. A fifteen a fifteen year old a fifteen year old who just has to be like, This is my son, it's like that's not your son, you're the son. What are you talking about? Just a child with a child? Like that's like that's like that's like when you get a dog Mm-hmm. And you like like and two you're a years. dog yourself. No, <laughs> no. It's like when you get a dog. Dogs having dogs. And then like when that dog's like two, you get like a puppy. Uh-huh. But it's just like a like a big dog, and you have like a really tiny dog, and it's just like no, it'll be fine because like this dog will teach that dog how to behave. No, They're won't. both dogs. Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly. No, they will That's not. why the second dog's always shitty. Yeah. Yeah. I got my dog a dog, and they just are both bad. They're both bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Mondo, what I'm saying. <laughs> no. Not even getting your dog a dog. That's getting like you're getting your dog a, a crab. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I think you're a crab. I think you're both wrong. Here's my That's argument. It's so funny. You take your baby to your driving test? <laughs> you gonna take a driver's test? I'm understanding how teen mom got pitched now. Yeah, because it's awesome. <laughs> Because it's so cool to have a dad that understands you because he was there five years ago. It's cool to have a, it's cool to have a dad in the world's thinnest basketball shorts playing 2K. Your dad called you slurs on Xbox Live. He did. <laughs> I, I feel like I've told this joke on this yeah. podcast before, but my father, because he was so young, it was a lot like having an older brother. Because yeah. like, he was not a great father, but he was a fantastic Madden player. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, my, okay, here's my argument for why I think teen pregnancy is the best time to have a child jesus christ <laughs> what are they gonna do arrest me <laughs> in texas no yeah, no fair no. enough yeah and I, I gotta be clear i'm <laughs> talking about i'm talking about teens having babies with other teens sure preferably only <laughs> anything else arrest More arrest in texas oh, God, you want this fucking place you want to you want to see it on the you want to see it in our government that's what you gotta do yeah. mm. i don't know what to tell you so here's my argument. Mm-hmm. I have a friend, stand-up comedian okay. Andrew uh, Tar. Andrew Tar is. <laughs> you looked at me and then like Andrew, Andrew Tar. <laughs> Andrew Nazis. Yeah. Mm. So no, sorry. I, I have a friend, Andrew Tar, who's a comedian. He is, I think, like thirty-five, and I just found out his parents are in their seventies. Which means that they had him when they were like late 30s, uh, early 40s. Okay. And Andrew Tarr is, by his own admission, the reason I mentioned he's a stand-up comic is because the things that I'm about to say are his jokes. Andrew Tarr is fucked up. He's (laughs) tiny. He got a brain that work bad. And uh, he's all like goofy. He's just like, uh, he describes himself as like, he's wrong. Yeah. Right, right. We were having a conversation the other day. And uh, I told him that <laughs> my parents were like 15, 16 when they had me. Yeah. And he was like, oh, now this makes so much more sense. You're big and strong because you were that newcom. Yeah. You were the first. Yeah, oh, yeah, Mondo, yeah. Mondo, Mondo, you were the six egg to drop. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. You were, you were the, you were the, you were the sperm like right on Normandy beach that didn't get gunned down yeah. by an IU, by a German IUD. And no, getting... he's the, you know, he's the one on the boat that showed up after everyone else died. Yeah. Right. After when they were reloading, <laughs> while they were reloading the fucking 50 cows. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're getting real close <laughs> to eugenics, I think. <laughs> but don't we always? Yeah. Well, I mean, when in Texas. So uh, no, no IV, no IVF. Yeah, fair Can't even enough. Do eugenics. I, uh, I, 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 I think, I think it's the best time to have a kid. Plus, you get to be there for the your whole life. Yeah, I, it's interesting. Like, I my my parents had me when they were in their mid twenties. And I think about that and I'm like, that's insane to yeah, me. That got- is insane. To like, but even how, so like my parents had me when they were 27. Mm-hmm. Like take a decade off that. And that's when your parents had, like that's, I, I, could, I would not trust 15 year old me to wax my car. <laughs> like much less have a, a ch- living, breathing child. child. I don't like, want one now. I don't think I could do it now. I want to be an old dad. I think I've decided. I'm. I'm like. You I'm want your kids? Well, yeah, I think I'm gonna. You're ha- gonna be a stepdad, so it's fine. Well, 
I don't know. I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of feeling it in this, in, in these, these ripe old aged years. I think because like, you, because you know that you're towards the end. Yeah, that's your right, fight or I'm, flight activating. Yeah. I don't want kids. You don't want kids. You want to live forever. <laughs> yeah. and this I is think your body's way. Yeah. My body of having the, the yeah. legacy. Yeah, the legacy factors kicking in, perhaps. Because like, um, uh, I've seen your uh, cool stuff in your apartment, and, and I couldn't when you have, have that. a kid. No. You don't get to have that. Also, that is true. But see, that's why uh, I, that's why I'm going to have a basement at some point because I'm going to, to have, keep the kid in. That's right. No, um, <laughs> to have my cool stuff in the basement that no that no one touches. Mm. Uh, yeah, I hate that you give yourself the basement. Like, give yourself a cool room at least. Like oh, an office. basements fucking rock. A wood panel basement. <sighs> oh, what awesome. Are you fucking a murderer. <laughs> no, the fucking wood panel basement rules. I guess, but it's weird. Awesome. I don't know. I don't trust anyone who's like, you know, where I want to spend all my time underground. This sounds like some. This sounds like some fucking Los Angeles. <laughs> like, well, yeah, we can't have GB nonsense. No, no basements. Because you can't have basements because the ground's always shifted. Yeah, <laughs> but it's You're like, fine. What do you mean there's cellars? I don't like that. What happens if the big one comes through? It's like we're not living on tectonic plate, Armando. You can have a basement. Yeah, we have we have these houses in like the suburbs of Los Angeles uh, that are like, so, okay, so half of the first floor is underground okay. have you ever seen these houses before yeah i'll try i wish i had a picture i would take too long to like google it to no, find out what one. it is but yeah it's like if you're looking at the house yeah. and you're at street level the window is like an inch or two off, off the of the ground. ground yeah and you're yeah, like yeah. what the fuck Oof. it's a non-committal basement yeah it looks like a, a house built for you and your short ass okay Damn. so why would the window need to be lower yeah. because you're tiny but I can still see out of windows. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you're on your tippy toes, when no, I give I you uppies. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, when you're looking at it, it looks like a house built for tiny little griffs. But inside, the first half of, like, the first floor is underground, and then there's, like, stairs that go upstairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And those have always confused me because we're not allowed to have basements, or usually we don't have basements. But what makes that okay how does that work? How does that house work? I think that's just like, okay, well, answer me this, complete opposite. In a place that's so filled with fires and earthquakes and mudslides, why do they build the house on the side of the mountain? Oh, on in, stilts? In defiance that's of on God. Stilts? Yeah, in defi on stilts? On stilts? On stilts? Did you see what happened when the, the big rains happened? No. Those houses did they slide down the fucking side the of fucking the mountain? mountain. Yeah. yeah. Who could have foreseen that happening? The insurance companies who didn't pay out very much money. <laughs> Like they, like they fucking need it. Oh, uh, you see that fucking boat hit that bridge? Yeah. What the fuck is that's crazy. That's you saw that, right? You oh, saw that? I woke up to this news. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, I woke the up key, to that the, the and then bridge. the Pornhub thing. They were I next the, to each other on the on the you know Reddit and it'll have like the oh they were yeah. one after the other. I thought you saw a bridge collapsing and you went, I'm so fucking and turned yeah, on. Yeah, it's like I'm bummed <sighs> out. I gotta bring the mood back around for the podcast. <laughs> My insides are revving like a thousand foot boat. Ugh, full steam ahead. Yeah. No, uh, I, the, the footage is insane. It is I insane. That. It's like, <laughs> smash, collapse. Like, that it, thing, it, that it, thing, it, that, it does like a Thanos, like a Thanos snap. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, <laughs> American infrastructure, so good. Truly, man. Not in need of any repair. <laughs> that, that, that bridge goes down it, quick. Like, that it, bridge it, broke like the bridge I made for science. For Olympiad science, exactly. Exactly. Like, like AP fucking, class. Yeah, out of matchsticks. And, yeah, matchsticks. Oh, we used popsicle, popsicle sticks. sticks. Yeah. 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 yeah we had, I guess we went to a better school than you. Yeah. <laughs> but Although, did, did your bridge give you a bunch of funny jokes? Because mine <laughs> had a bunch of written on all the, all the sticks. It was very cool. He had to suck his old popsicles. <laughs> yeah, you really do. That's it's for science. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's why I had the best bridge, because I was the only one who could do this. <laughs> <laughs> you, ate, you ate popsicles like a cartoon eating a chicken, chicken leg? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just pulling out a whole bone, mm -hmm. a a stark pure white bone yeah. in one fell swoop. Yeah. Well, I'd show you a video of somebody doing that in real life, but the site got blocked, so I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowed to go. And I guess this is the importance of saving all digital media, right? Yeah. Because, like, because like Texas could ban it or, like, a conglomerate could shut it down. You never know. Yeah. yeah. You never know. Never know. Buy physical media. We're going back, guys. Yeah. We gotta go back. I've only ever believed in physical media. Gotta I don't have it. I don't believe physical media exists. Or, yeah. or at least, I my my advice to you would be buy physical media and then back it up to your own hard drives. 
Sure. Yeah. That's the that's that's the that's the fail safe m- yeah. method. I guess my advice would be to steal it. That too. Yeah. yeah just piracy. steal it. Yeah. Just steal yeah, it. No, don't... no, no. Not piracy. No. Break into the movie theater. Yeah. Mask over your face. Steal the reel. You know, phones are so good now. I feel like you could just record an entire. Can I? I'm gonna show you a video I shot on my phone. Uh-huh. Tell me I couldn't just record a movie theater screen and put this on the DVD and be fine with the quality. Sure. Yeah. Let me see it. Hold on. Oh. The movie is going to have text reminders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Text notifications, push well, notifications like, over them. But no, it's... that's fine. I have so many screenshots of the weather because I just kept sending it to people. Look at that. It's on my phone. I can make a movie on my phone. This is bad. <laughs> no, 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 not that, not that, not that, not that. <laughs> I got it off the screen before you deleted it. Fam. Like, it's like, I feel like, like, I feel confident. You could probably shoot a movie on the phone at this point. I mean, you definitely can. Like, are you gonna, Apple like, would definitely have you believe you can. You yeah. have to do, have you ever seen, like, how people make those, like, shot on iPhone videos, though? Mm-hmm. It's like, it's shot on an iPhone, and then we do so much stuff to it and then we premiere. process it yeah, also like, in, in it's raw it's shown on iphone like in raw yeah. it's shot on iphone in raw it's like yeah i guess it, it's not some just guy behind the camera no. there is a f- there's a full production yeah. crew behind All the thing fucking uh, around with just like on an iphone doing yeah. iso aperture settings but and, and no fuck that they're not doing it on the phone they've got a fucking remote ipad <laughs> they're controlling the iphone with doing all that stuff a mile away from the fucking camera and then just like this is sergey yeah <laughs> he's our editor yeah i just got a linkedin notification from our td fisher are you adding us on linkedin right now <laughs> oh interesting i didn't get an ad that's that's funny mm. yeah it's because i have opportunities i can film one of those uh filmed on an iphone ads <laughs> Yeah, take care, take care when connecting. For your safety, we recommend you only connect with people you know and trust. Wow. Decline invite. Sure. Sure. Um, hey, this is one of the last episodes. Plug something personal. Who gives a fuck? Paul, oh, what's yeah. your what's your uh, Instagram? What's your tw- what, X? Uh, what, just go ahead and plug it. Who gives a shit? Yeah, you can follow me on at, at Mondo Does Stuff. M-A-N-D-O Does Stuff, all one word. Um, I stream uh until i get banned off of twitch they've already stopped For publishing what? my videos oh do you use music uh, yes but it's not just that i also like the other day i raided um i think joe and okay. i told uh my chat who are the horny boys by the way okay that's what my chat is it's a non-gendered term yeah. because we're all horny like teenage boys yeah. are and uh i told them to go into joe uh, to his stream and threaten physical violence. Oh, so targeted harassment yeah. by your, from your community. It's like about 60 people joining his thread all at once to just be like, fuck you. And the best part is apparently right when I sent them, he left to go take a shit. That's so funny. So he was Beautiful. gone for 20 minutes. He just came minutes. back yeah. to abuse. Yeah. yeah. That's so funny. To a stockpile of abuse. <laughs> yeah. Just like here. I also um, just found out how to do a chat bot and now it has a bunch of really fun things. And some of my favorite are like, I, I started watching a Blizzbear stream to see like what kind of stuff that they do. Yeah. And one of them is like exclamation point hydrate and it'll like remind him that he should drink water. Yeah. But when you do that, my bot's like, shut your parasocial <laughs> ass up, you <laughs> stupid bitch. Hey, Armando, why don't you go get a brewski or better yet, a twisted fucking tea? And I didn't think it would let me do that. And it does. Wow. It straight up will let you do that. Wow. Now there's like a bunch of them and all of them insult the audience. Oh, if that's going to be fun. I can't wait for that. If you do exclamation point, hello, it just says, LOL, shut up, dork. <laughs> I uh, fucking uh, love uh, it. Uh, 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 God, I love it so much. So Mondo does stuff. Yeah, I stream. Oh. I do a podcast about cults called Cult Podcast. Um, I make shorts uh i make other podcasts and uh yeah just go Sick. follow me i do a lot of stand-up oh uh, yeah and see uh see mondo in the city near you because yeah. he'll be he'll be out and about he'll yeah. be in it at i think point. when this episode comes out i'll be in kansas city yeah that's fun go see your boy uh i am the underscore indoor kid on almost everything i could get it on um and i don't really do much i'm gonna start doing stuff though start it yeah i'm gonna start Kick streaming it. i'm gonna start mm-hmm. making stuff uh, I've been really into leather crafting. What? Oh, like leather damn. crafting? What do you mean? Like making stuff out of leather? For so wait, what so purposes? you're you're entering. Uh, I'm an elder millennial. You're an elder lesbian. You're entering <laughs> your elder lesbian phase. Yeah, I found my hobby. <laughs> I thought it would be woodworking, but Can I like this Can I see your phone more. really quick? Mm? Can I see your phone really quick? Mm-hmm. Let me see. Mm-hmm. All right, just What's open up? this up. Yeah. 
you haul heads. Okay. Oh, it's all you haul heads. All right. God damn it. All right. All Are right. these earring making classes? Oh, God. Jesus oh, my God. Christ. I would never make jewelry. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, no, uh, but I'm thinking about uh, doing DIY streams. Okay. So I think I'm going nice. to do that instead of like gaming, probably. That'd be pretty good. Uh, just like craft, work along, work with me streams. Love to it. To keep people company. Well, we um, have. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. So yeah, I'm everywhere. Twitch, uh, Twitter, whatever, Instagram. Yeah, and I and uh, that's our time actually. Yeah, we yeah. No one, no one else has anything to plug or say anything. No, or do plug your shit, paints. stinky. Oh, uh, I don't. You know, I, I, I'm, I don't go on X anymore because fuck it's that place. It's so depressing. It's so depressing. So really, just find me at andrewrosis.ig. I'm on oh, Instagram yeah. there, posting my music. Posted my painting. I think I'm gonna do a little like painting channel, a yeah. little painting Patreon or something like that. Yeah, to, like a Patreon. A paint a Patreon because uh, yeah, I've been uh, I've been making little videos of me painting. Um, and the color mixing ones is wild. I'm gonna do you some. Do I'm, I'm gonna do some color mixing ones. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. do. I'm gonna do like By co- the way, alternate when, palettes, limited palettes. No, stuff like when that. he says no, that, he means no, no. <laughs> <laughs> when Andrew does his color mixing, he means. Um, you know what I mean. Why is my mic cut off? <laughs> why am I why am I being escorted out of the building? Why am I being DJ Jazzy Jeff into the parking lot? Um Why are they diddying um, my apartment? <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Holy also, shit. I yeah. got on the plane yesterday and I On Diddy's plane? Yeah. I was to the Bahamas? Diddy. Yeah, he was shocked. No, I was getting on the plane to come back from PAX and I took Delta so they have this fucking screens on the thing. And everyone's screen was just like like Diddy House raided by Homeland Security, and I was like, "What's going on?" And, and then, <laughs> all right, we're gonna shut the cabin doors. Please uh, <laughs> turn off your phones. And the day before that, I was eating lunch. Uh, like I went to brunch with Iffy and one of his friends, and his friend was telling us insane stories about when he hung out with Diddy. And then literally the next day was like the house raid. Oh, we- I wish I had not. If I was that person, I would go and be like, hey, remember all the stories I yeah. told you of hanging out with Diddy? <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Lying. No, I didn't. I was lying 100%. I, I didn't know. I didn't know that he pulled Drake out of a car and beat his ass. That's crazy. One of my favorite bits from South Park is Diddy did it. <laughs> yeah. And it's now, just real now. Now I can bring it back. Diddy did, did it. I think. Allegedly. 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 So. Yeah. You're doing paint and streams. Yeah, I'm gonna something. I'm gonna get some start some painting streams because I recorded a bunch of little videos and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, and I tried to do it during the pandemic, but I was a little bit too ambitious. I tried to stream it on Twitch, but I was a little bit too ambitious because I tried to like hook up like basically three cameras, like one oh. on me, one on me, one on the canvas, one on my palette, so you could see everything that was going on. System could not handle that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna really simplify it and like it was like, oh cool. Do you want to upload this? 700 gigabyte file like it was just like because all the cameras <laughs> TikTok. Were, yeah exactly yeah. so keeping it pared down okay gonna just do like real simple stuff yeah oh. and we'll be streaming together oh of course um yeah starting probably pretty soon yeah and uh, me and Mondo are launching a heist podcast oh yeah <laughs> and so me I'll, and andrew are hosting a different podcast which we'll tell you about later and, and the three of us are, gonna do, are doing our uh, oh, third, third thing. thing a third secret thing a third, third secret, secret thing. thing and then me and andrew are gonna figure something out what Right. No! Yeah. <laughs> I am the glue that holds you oh, together. Sense. sense. How fucking dare you? Oh, yeah. Oh, nonsense. Yeah. Nonsense. Yeah. nonsense. Yeah. Oh, you're Scent doing a, a show based around perfume and cologne? Yeah. Yeah, that'll fail. You do it. Go for it. I think it could work. Do it. There's no yeah. other way to do it. It doesn't even have to be a podcast. It could just be like little video little videos. Little videos, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or we just even... like hang out and small stuff? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. even have to be a, a, a video. It could just, just be you guys friendship. hanging yeah. out. Fuck the video. Friendship? Yeah, we do that anyway. Of, we never sold lavender. We gotta go. We didn't. Yes, we gotta go. We gotta go. What to Labo. the fuck are you guys talking about? Lab. Oh, oh, the, the lab. lab. To, to yeah. smell the new lavender one. In there. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Or whatever oh my is, god. Yeah. yeah, I care so much. This is why you're not gonna be on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why it starts. <laughs> because I don't need your stupid sense. All right. I'm a proud Hispanic man. I've got five bottles of Curve that my <laughs> father had, and I keep it in the side door of a fucking the Mitsubishi GNC. Eclipse. Yeah, <laughs> a fucking SUV, baby. And when I'm feeling fancy, I have Agua de Giorgio or whatever the <laughs> oh, fuck. 
in a clear bottle. Disgusting. Yeah. Uh, when, if I'm feeling really fancy, I reach into the back seat and grab a Maxim from 2004 <laughs> and I rub, rub it. I rub, I rub it on my chest. Yeah. And instead of deodorant, I use the pine fucking car freshener <laughs> on my pits. No, not pine. Black ice. That's the <laughs> that's one. You the de- that's the sexiest one. That's the one you definitely have. You have black ice in your car right now. Yeah, you I do. do. I yeah. also have yeah. black ice. In- yeah. 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 But I also have leather. Yeah, you do. That's crazy. I also have leather. (laughs) You don't just call it ice? No. All right, everybody. (laughs) That's the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, We'll definitely be back. I've been Armando Torres, and if you want to follow me uh, again, that's at Mondo Does Stuff, M-A-N-D-O Does Stuff. I'm Andrew Rosas. Follow me at andrewrosas.ig on Instagram. Thank you. My name isn't actually Griff, but it is on this podcast. But if you want to find out my real name, I'm the underscore indoor kid everywhere else. Yeah. yeah. It's like an ARG. Go find it. Go yeah. find it. And uh, we'll see you next week, scamp. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>